Hi my name is Andy Wood and in this video I'm going to show you how I create a cross process effect in Lightroom. Right. Hey there I'm Andy Wood and before we get started I'd just like to invite you to head over to imagepunk.com and grab yourself some free presets and tutorials and just to say that if you like this video please give it a like and don't forget to subscribe to my channel cheers right let's get started okay so how to create a cross process effect um, using Adobe Lightroom so first of all we go to the basic settings and we make the following adjustments now I'm assuming that you're happy with the exposure so I'm not going to touch that but for your particular image feel free to have a play with it so highlights, we'll lift those up somewhere between 5 and 10. And for the shadows, we need to drop them to around about the minus 20 mark. We're not too within a point here, so it's not too, too sensitive. And let's take the whites down a touch, maybe to minus 10. And we'll lift the blacks somewhere around about the 20 mark. Super. Now we go to the clarity and lift that up quite a ways for this image to somewhere around about 45 and we will um, lift the vibrance somewhere between 10 and 20 and we'll drop the saturation somewhere around about the 10 mark. I'm starting to take, um, take shape. For the tone curve, we make sure that we're on RGB and we just hover the mouse over the bottom part of the line and just lift it up a touch. And as you can see, it just kind of adds a fade to the image. HSL and we'll leave the hue as is and then we will play with the saturation so we will go for minus 36 on red if you can actually tab these down so just hit tab and um, we can make the adjustments minus 29 for orange yellow will take to minus 25 greens will drop to minus 35 Aqua to minus 34, blue to minus 40 mark, and purple to minus 32, and magenta around about minus 26. For the luminance, we lift it. So we go to um, 26 or so for the red, same for the orange, around about 22 for the yellows 20 for green and then the aqua 22 blue 21 and 17 and something around about 21 okay so let's just close that off now then this is where the magic actually works so for this image, I use um, around about 62 for the hue, the saturation about 35. Leave the balance, and for the shadows, I'll go 78 and 35. Now as you can see, that has quite an effect. Now, in the spirit of cross-processing, uh, feel free to play with these, so you can have a fiddle around and see the kind of look that you want to achieve for your specific image but for this we will let's put that back go for that look because I quite like that look and then I like to add just a little bit of grain so we'll cross processed image and there you have it just a few minutes 
and it has quite an effect on the image. I think that's super. Let's go back. There you go, so there you have it. Now, if you want to grab this as a free preset, I'll provide a, a link down below. And um, yep, if you like it, please subscribe to the channel and give it a like. Thanks for that, and um, I'll see you soon. Cheers. Thank you.